Article 16 in the Bill of Human Rights states that everyone has the right to marriage and a family. In the United States of America, everyone is privileged enough to have this right. Right? Wrong. Just in the past year, two bills were proposed in the Georgia Senate denying same-sex couples the right to adopt. Bills HB 159 and SB 375. HB 159 included language that restricted gay couples from adopting. The language was stripped from the bill and passed as an adoption reform law. The truly appalling and bill damaging to the LGBT community is Bill SB 375. SB 375, the Keep Faith and Adoption and Foster Care Act, allows adoption agencies to bar same-sex couples from their services based on religious beliefs. The proposed bill also disallows the Georgia Department of Human Services from disciplining those same agencies. This definition is stated by the author of the article, Macon March to Protest Anti-LGBTQ Adoption Bill, SB 375, Jason Road. The bill was passed through Georgia Senate early 2018, but failed in the House at the end of March. After hearing of this bill and how close it was to being passed as a law in my state, one question lingered in my mind. What would have happened if this bill were to become a law? What would this mean for me and my family and gay couples all around the state? After asking myself these questions, I decided I would take this issue to some adoption agencies around the state of Georgia. I had made plans to talk with a few agencies, but found that they are incredibly hard to talk to unless you are planning to adopt a child or put a child up for adoption, and therefore could not get a hold of any. After this failure, I took the questions to students around Hillgrove High School to see what their thoughts were on this bill. I'm Chib. Kayla Robertson. Enrique Sabrino. Gabriel. My name is Emma Talamini. Uh, my name is Regan Tipton. Emma Gordon. Sophie Allen. My full name? Sure. <laughs> Gina Carpentary. That's not okay. You're not only denying someone a family, you're denying someone a home, a child, mm -hmm. and you're also denying the would-be parents of that child. Coming from a religious background and knowing the cultural aspects of America and other countries as well, that I understand where they're coming from because how they all were raised, mm -hmm. and they find that sexuality is a big thing, part of their religion. And as someone who wants respect for my, what I do, I would want to respect them. So I don't hate it, don't necessarily like it, but it is what it is. Really bad. I feel like it's kind of wrong, you know, why base something like that they're doing good just because you don't like what they choose to do with their lives and their relationships. Uh, kind of angry because first off, I think that that's kind of wrong. Like I get everyone has like their right to their religious beliefs and stuff, but like I don't think that that should be a reason for other people to be able to adopt a child because they're a same-sex couple. Um, I feel that it's not necessary in today's society. I think it's completely unnecessary and it's just denying the right for any kind of parent to own their own child that they can love and take care of. Well, I feel everyone should have an equal chance of having children, whether it be one way or another. Adoption is a great thing and many kids need to be adopted and have a great loving family and should not be taken away from that just because they're a same-sex couple. Some of the students I interviewed were more knowledgeable about the subject than others, but I found that most everyone had the same feeling about the bill. It's not right. 
Not only would this law have had an effect on me personally, but it would have an effect on Georgia business and how large corporations view Georgia in a sense of whether or not they want to take their business there. The film industry had a strong disliking for this bill and threatened to take business elsewhere had this bill passed. At the time of this bill passing through Senate, Amazon, the electric commerce company, had Atlanta in consideration for a second headquarters location, but hesitated after the bill went through. Since the bill has died, Amazon has Atlanta in its top five. According to the UCLA School of Law, the percent of Georgia's population that identifies with the LGBT community is 3.9%. As small as that may seem, Georgia is the 8th in the United States in terms of largest LGBT population. Passing a bill such as SB 375 would affect so many families and couples, as well as hurting the children in the foster care system that otherwise would have had homes. On any given day, there are nearly 428,000 children in foster care in the United States. Any sort of law passed against the LGBT community brings us one step back from true equality between homosexuals and heterosexuals. We live in a society where we are coming to the terms with the fact that we as a whole are not predominantly straight. So a law that turns one sexual preference against the other could create mayhem in large cities where gay people reside. I understand the point of this documentary is to document my research and findings of information surrounding my specific topic, but I also want to open you, the viewers, minds, to the fact that this is an issue that has been going on for forever, and now we have the power to change it. By some of the class of 2021 senior year, voting for lawmakers and Georgia government officials may be possible. And even if it's not, be aware and stay paying attention to proposed bills like this because it greatly affects our generation and the generation after us as we are coming to accept the fact that a person can like girls or boys or both or neither so much more than previous generations. A quote from a personal favorite film and musical theater performance, Rent, is Love conquers all. And despite the seemingly never-ending war for equality and to be accepted, love will win. <laughs>